Hello students. In the last class, we learnt about the classification of haloalkanes and haloarenes in detail. In this class, let us learn about IUPAC nomenclature of haloalkanes and haloarenes and general methods of preparation of haloalkanes and haloarenes. Let us see the nomenclature of haloalkanes and haloarenes. Organic compounds are generally to be named by the two ways. One is common names. Common name. And the second one is IUPAC name. IUPAC name. So the common names are derived based on the source of the molecule. And the IUPAC names are generally to be named by following the rules. The common names of alkyl halides are derived by naming the alkyl group, naming the alkyl group and followed by the name of the halide. That is, in the common system, first write the name of the alkyl group and then write the name of the halide. That is, the group 17th elements, that is halogens, fluorine, chlorine, bromine and iodine and in the case of organic compounds that is halogens are exist in the negative charge so it is to be represented as minus F minus Cl minus Br minus and I minus hence the name of the molecules are to be represented as fluoride, chloride, bromide and iodine so don't write fluorine that is, is is to be represented as fluoride so if the molecule contains f it is to be represented as fluoride if it contains cl it is to be named as chloride if it contains br it is to be named as bromide let us see how to name the common name of the molecule for example let us consider ch3 cl here the alkyl group is methyl group that is it contains one carbon atom so the name is to be written as methyl methyl and then write the name of the halogen so it contains cl so if it contains cl it is to be named as halide so it is to be written as chloride methyl chloride in the IUPAC system Alkyl halides are named as halo substituted hydrocarbons. Halo substituted hydrocarbons. Hydrocarbons. That is, first write the name of the halogen, then write the name of the hydrocarbon. Here it is to be written as that is the name of the halogen, that is halo name of the halogen is to be written as halo so cl is to be written as chloro and the substituent group that is the hydrocarbon name it contains only one carbon atom hence it is to be represented as meth so the parent chain is meth and it contains only single bond so it is to be represented as ane so it is prefix and it is root word and it is suffix that is First write the prefix that is substituent group name, then write the root word, then write the suffix. That is in the IUPAC system, the haloalkanes are to be named as halo substituted hydrocarbon. And consider the another example that is CH3, CH2, CH2, Br. So in the common system, it is to be written as that is first to write the name of the alkyl group here the alkyl group is so that is it contains three carbon atoms so it is to be represented as methyl ethyl propyl propyl and the name of the halogen is to be written as halide that is bromide propyl bromide in the IUPAC system it is to be written as First, write the name of the halogen. That is, halogen is bromo. 
so bromo and root word that is numbering is to be done by the end which contains the substituent group so it is to be written as 1 2 3 that is the root word is meth eth and pro that is it contains three carbon atoms so it is to be represented as pro and between the carbon atoms it contains single bonds hence it is to be written as a n e so bromo propane here the halogen atom is attached to the first carbon atom hence the number is to be represented as one so one bromo propane that is in the common system first to write the name of the alkyl group then write the name of the halogen in the IUPAC system first to write the name of the halogen then write the substituted hydrocarbon next consider one more example CH3 CH2 CH CL and CH3 that is the molecule is CH3 CH2 CH and it is CL so it is CH3 so there are two ways to number the or select the parent chain that is to be numbering from the left to right or right to left but the correct method is the numbering from the right to left that is 1 2 3 4 because during the numbering the correct method is the end which contains the substituent group so while numbering from left to right cl attached carbon gets the third number but from right to left cl attached carbon gets the second number so the end which contains the substituent group gets the least number that is the correct method of numbering and in the common system it is to be represented as first to write the name of the alkyl group that is the name of the alkyl group is to be represented as methyl ethyl propyl and butyl here there is an one more prefix that is cl attached to the secondary carbon atom secondary carbon means the halogen attached carbon attached to the two more carbon atoms halogen attached carbon attached to two more carbon atoms it is to be represented as secondary or the halogen attached carbon contains only one hydrogen it is also to be called as secondary carbon hence the molecule is to be represented as secondary and the name of the alkyl so it contains four carbon atom hence it is to be represented as secondary butyl and the name of the halogen is to be represented as chloride secondary butyl chloride and in the IUPAC system it is to be written as that is second carbon contains the halogen so first write the number two and the name of the halogen that is chloro and the root word meth, eth, prop, but so it contains four carbon atoms so it is but and between the carbon atoms it contains only carbon carbon single bonds hence the suffix is to be written as ane so two chloro butane and consider one more example that is CH3 thrice C and it is CH2 Br so the molecule is to be written as that is CH3 and methyl groups thrice so the carbon which contains three methyl groups and CH2 and it is Br here the common name is to be represented as neo that is the prefix is used is neo because at the end it contains 
three similar groups if the end which contains three similar groups then the prefix neo is used that is neo and it contains one two three four five carbon atoms so it is to be represented as pentyl it is to be written as pentyl and the name of the halogen is bromide bromide neo pentyl bromide neo prefix is generally used at the end contains three similar groups and in the IUPAC system the numbering is to be done by the end which contains the halogen atom that is one two and it is three so second carbon atom contains two substituent groups that is two methyl groups and first carbon atom contains the halogen atom hence it is to be represented as one bromo so first write the name of the halogen then second carbon contains two methyl groups hence it is to be represented as two comma two that is one two for one methyl another two for another methyl group and it contains two methyl groups that is position is two comma two because of the presence of two methyl groups it is to be represented as di and the name of the substituent group that is methyl 1 bromo 2 comma 2 dimethyl and the parent chain that is in the root word it contains three carbon atoms root word contains three carbon atoms so meth eth prop prop and between the carbon atoms it contains single one so it is to be represented as a n e that is 1 bromo 2 comma 2 dimethyl propane let us take one more example that is ch3 thrice cbr that is the molecule is to be written as cbr and it this carbon contains three methyl groups here the halogen atom attached carbon attached to the three more carbon atoms halogen attached to carbon and that carbon is attached to three more carbon atoms hence the carbon is to be represented as tertiary or the halogen attached carbon does not contains any hydrogen hence it is to be called as tertiary so the prefix is to be represented as tertiary and the name of the alkyl group so it contains four carbon atoms hence it is to be represented as butyl tertiary butyl and the name of the halogen is to be written as bromide tertiary butyl bromide and in the IUPAC system first give the numbering that is it is to be selected as 1 and it is 2 and it is 3 that is we have to select the longest carbon chain so second carbon contains one methyl group as well as halogen atom hence the molecule is to be written as 2 bromo 2 bromo and second carbon contains one methyl group 2 methyl and the root word is meth eth pro pro and between the carbon atoms it contains single bond so it is to be represented as ane 2 bromo 2 methyl propane and consider one more example that is ch2 double bond ch cl halogen directly attached to the double bonded carbon atom if the halogen attached to the double bonded carbon atom then it is to be represented as vinyl so it is vinyl chloride so the common name is vinyl chloride because the halogen directly attached to the double bonded carbon atom this type of compounds are generally to be called as vinyl halides here the halide is chloride hence it is to be written as vinyl chloride and in the IUPAC system it is to be named as 1 
2 that is it contains two carbon atoms and the substituent group is Cl so it is to be written as chloro here no need to mention the position of the substituent group because it contains only two carbon atoms that is chloro and the root word is two carbon atoms so it is eth and the nature of the bond or between the carbon atoms it contains double bonds hence it is to be represented as ene so chloro ethene not ethane because between the carbon atoms it contains the double bonds hence it is to be represented as ene if the molecule contains triple bonds it is to be represented as yne that is between the carbon atoms it contains single bonds it is to be represented as ane and between the carbon atoms it contains double bonds it is to be represented as ene between the carbon atoms contains triple bonds it is to be represented as yne and let us take one more example that is ch2 double bond ch ch2 br here halogen atom attached carbon next to the double bonded carbon here the halogen attached carbon and it is next to the double bonded carbon hence this type of molecules are generally to be called as allylic halides allylic halides or allyl halides so the molecule is to be represented as allyl and the halogen is bromide allyl bromide and in the IUPAC system so the numbering is done by the end which contains the double bonds so the priority is to be given for the double bonds not to the halogen hence the numbering is done by the end which contains the double bonds that is priority is to be given for the double bonds hence the molecule is to be represented as 3 and the halogen name is to be written as bromo 3 bromo and the root word that is it contains 3 carbon atoms hence it is to be represented as meth eth pro 3 bromo pro and the double bond present between the carbon 1 and carbon 2 hence it is to be represented as 1 ene or it is also to be written as 3 bromo 3 bromo propene propene so far we learnt about the nomenclature of mono substituted halo alkenes let us take di substituted halo alkenes di substituted means it contains two halogen atoms that is in the halo alkenes it contains two halogen atoms they are to be called as di substituted halo alkenes the di halo compounds having same type of halogen atom are further classified as geminal halides geminal halides that is geminal is nothing but if the two similar halogen atoms attach to attach to same carbon then it is to be called as geminal halides and next type is vicinal halides vicinal halides so vicinal halides means if the two similar halogen atoms attach to attached to adjacent carbon atoms then it is to be called as vicinal halides that is the dihalo compounds having same type of halogen atoms are further classified as geminal halides and vicinal halides in the common system geminal dihalides are named as alkylidene halides that is geminal halides are to be named as alkylidene alkylidene halides and vicinal halides 
are named as alkaline dihalides alkaline dihalides dihalides that is the geminal halides in the common system is named as alkylidene halides and vicinal dihalides are to be named as alkylidene dihalides but in the case of iupac system in the iupac system they are named as dihaloalkenes dihaloalkenes let us take example that is ch3 ch cl2 so the molecule is to be represented as 3 hydrogen ch3 and c one is hydrogen and the remaining two are halogen atoms and let us take one more example that is CH2, CH2, and it is Cl, so it is Cl. So the molecule is to be represented as that is carbon contains two hydrogens and one Cl, and the next carbon contains two hydrogens and Cl. So if the two halogen atoms attach to the same carbon atom then it is to be named as geminal halides if the two halogen atoms are attached to the adjacent carbon atom then the molecule is to be called as vicinal halides in the common system geminal halides are to be named as alkylidene halides hence the molecule is to be represented as ethylidene 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 and the halogen is chloride ethylidene chloride in the case of iupac system it is to be represented as that is two carbon atoms first carbon contains two cl atoms so it is to be represented as 1 comma 1 dichloro dichloro and the root word is two carbon atoms so it is to be represented as eth nature of the bond that is ane 1 comma 1 dichloroethane vicinal dihalides represented as alkylene dihalides alkylene that is it contains two carbon atoms so it is to be written as ethylene ethylene dichloride dichloride ethylene dichloride and in the iupac system it is to be represented as that is first and second carbon contains halogen atoms so the position of the halogen atoms are represented as 1 comma 2 dichloro dichloro and the root word is eth and between the carbon atoms it contains single bonds so it is to be represented as ane that is if haloalkenes contains two similar halogen atoms then the molecules is to be divided into two types one is geminal halides and vicinal halides in the geminal halides the two halogen atoms are attached to the same carbon in the case of vicinal halides the two similar halogen atoms are attached to adjacent carbon atoms in the common system the geminal halides are to be named as alkylidene halides alkylidene halides and in the iupac system it is to be named based on the iupac rules and vicinal halides are 
to be represented as alkaline dihalides according to common system alkaline dihalides and in the iup system it is to be represented by writing the position of the halogens that is 1 comma 2 here in the geminal dihalides it is to be represented as 1 comma 1 because both the halogen atoms are attached to the same carbon hence the position of the halogen atoms are represented as 1 comma 1 and the molecule contains two similar halogen atoms so it is to be represented as di and the halogen is chloro and the root word is ethane eth and the suffix is ane so it is to be represented as 1 comma 1 dichloro ethane and in the case of visinal dihalides the halogen atoms are attached to the adjacent carbon atoms hence it is to be represented as that is the position of the halogen atoms is represented as 1 comma 2 and the number of the halogen atoms are represented as di and the name of the molecule is chloro and the two carbon atoms are represented as eth and between the carbon atoms it contains single one so its suffix is ane that is geminal halides and visinal halides let us take few more examples that is CH2Cl2 CHCl3 and CHBr3 and CCl4 very very important molecules that is the molecule according to IUPAC system is to be represented as methylene chloride methylene chloride that is it is not methyl so methyl is to be represented only it contains CH3 so it is CH2 hence it is to be represented as methylene and the halogens are represented as chloride here no need to mention the dichloride because methylene is nothing but it contains CH2 and the rest of the valencies are satisfied by the halogens and in the IUPAC system it is to be represented as dichloro and the root word is meth and the nature of the bond is ane dichloromethane and the second molecule that is CHCl3 it is to be known as chloroform chloroform and in the IUPAC system it is to be represented as tri tri because it contains three halogen atoms tri chloro chloro and it contains only one carbon so it is to be represented as meth and the nature of the bond ane and the third molecule that is ch br3 so it is to be called as bromoform and in the IOPC system it is to be represented as tri bromo methane tri bromo methane and the fourth one that is ccl4 it contains four halogen atoms that is all the hydrogen atoms in the methane is replaced by the cl so the molecule is to be represented as carbon tetrachloride tetrachloride in the IUPAC system the molecule is to be represented as tetra that is four Cl atoms are represented as tetra chloro and the root word is meth and it is ane tetrachloromethane next let us take the name of the molecule that is 2 chloro 2 chloro 3 methyl 3 methyl pentane let us see how to write the structure of the molecule in that case 
first select the root word that is pent pent is nothing but it contains five carbon atoms so first write the parent chain it contains five carbon atoms that is one two three four and it is five here third carbon atom contains one methyl group third carbon contains one methyl group so attach methyl group to the third carbon and the second carbon contains one chlorine so second carbon contains one cl and the nature of the bonds is ane that is between the carbon atoms it contains only single bonds and rest of the valencies of the carbon atom is satisfied by writing the hydrogens so it is ch3 and it is hydrogen it is hydrogen and it is ch2 and it is ch3 that is the structure of the molecule is like this and the mole formula is to be written as ch3 ch2 c and it contains one methyl group h and c h and it is cl and it is ch3 that is 1 2 3 4 5 2 chloro 2 chloro 3 methyl pentane